Hello, my name is Scott Greenwood from Oak Ridge National Lab. Today I'd like to talk to you about Transform and provide a vision for nuclear energy modeling and simulation using the Modelica language, as well as provide you a few examples of how Transform has already been used for a wide variety of projects. The future of nuclear energy is new and diverse applications. The question then, what will be required of modeling and simulation tools moving forward to meet these applications. I propose first that we will require more flexible and adaptable tools in the nuclear field. Tools must be able to be used for a variety of applications, and these tools must be modifiable by users for new uses. Rapid de development is also very important. Users need the ability to fail fast and mature their analysis and their design. Modelers have to have control over the level of fidelity. Finally, future modeling and its simulation tools need to be collaborative. These diverse applications will use a variety of disciplines and expertise. Therefore, the modeling and simulation tools need to have the ability to integrate the domain expertise of many different fields and leverage them together in a, in a natural and easy way. Models must be able to communicate as well with other tools and frameworks. Now with these three things laid out, let's talk a little bit more about Transform, or let's call it the Transform Enterprise. We'll now talk about the vision, the strategy, the product, and the benefits as we see it of Transform. First, the vision. It's about accelerating the design, analysis, deployment of advanced nuclear reactors by enabling rapid, collaborative and adaptable exploration, all while leveraging a modern system level engineering tool, Modelica. The strategy by which this vision will be accomplished are those three things again, enabling rapid development or a graceful progress through the levels of system development and analysis demanded of the application, collaborative, community participation and development and capability extension, advisory councils to help guide research and development efforts, for example, and being adaptable. Generic modeling approaches allowing underlying capability that can be extended and adapted to meet a variety of applications. So in this strategy, in these three pillars, how does Transform already support rapid development? Well, first, it already includes a large selection of multi-physics generic models, from fluids and heat and mass transfer, control logic, nuclear kinetics. Second, it's based on Modelica, so you have the object-oriented acausal nature, the drag and drop, allowing you to create models quickly and get results quickly. For example, Transform is a demonstration of how quickly you can develop complex tools using the Modelica language. In two years, one postdoc, me, Transform was developed. In 2013, we got some initial funds to explore Modelica. And in 2015, I got hired. And between 2015 and 2017, I completely learned Modelica and created Transform. And since then, we've continued to apply Transform to a wide range of models, including molten salt reactors, light water reactors, nuclear thermal propulsion, along with other integrated energy systems. So how is Transform collaborative? First and foremost, it's open source. You can go to GitHub and download it right now. Of course, it's readable source code, like a textbook. This is, of course, one of the attributes of Modelica, which Transform tries to adhere to by not making things overly complex in their implementation. And of course, FMIs are very much of interest to us, and we look to improve and support the adoption of FMI technology with these kind of thermal hydraulic systems. And finally, we care a lot about engaging with users. We've had a workshop before. We have the workshop this conference, and uh, I continue to want to have additional collaborations and, and ways in which we can improve tools together. Finally, how is it flexible and adaptable? Components are modifiable. They're extendable. They're adaptable. Once again, not too many layers are put into the code so that a new user if they're seeking more information on a particular component, can more readily understand how to implement different models or how to borrow from existing ones. 
we rely heavily upon replaceable physics in transform, so heat transfer and fluid media such as what you see on the right, such that users can create one model and apply it to a lot of different applications. Once again, features of Medellica which we support wholeheartedly in transform. So now let's talk about the product. There's the Medellica library, which I touched on. The other aspects of the Transform Enterprise include an example gallery, which will contain a growing list of examples, templates, and other training material, which may be useful for, the, for both new and experienced users of Transform. The third is an analysis toolbox. We would like to include and support additional tools to get better results out of your models, various optimization, regressions, tests, etc. Finally, a simulator toolbox. We would like to continue to develop and improve the ways in which we can engage with FMI, ensuring that users can collaborate and export their models to wherever they need, whenever they need them. Now, a key aspect for a lot of these, a key aspect of analysis and simulator toolboxes, are they, these are not necessarily independent efforts. We hope to leverage existing work that's open source as well as create partnerships where we can create a very generic, uh, powerful Modelica tool that's not necessarily ta tailored just to Transform's uh, applications. So to focus a little bit more on the Transform Modelica library, let's recap. Transform's current capabilities include nuclear energy and auxiliary systems, thermal hydraulics, heat transfer and control systems. It's based on Modelica, of course. And so it's ideal for rapid, flexible, time-dependent modeling. But it's a part of an economy of modeling. We expect that users will want to take Transform and their own personal libraries and perhaps other third-party libraries and integrate them together. As such, we try to stay compatible with other uh, approaches and methods that we've seen be adopted by the larger community. For example, fluid interfaces in the Delica Standard Library. With this introduction to the Transform Modelica library, let's go ahead and watch a short video that provides a little bit of a demonstration of the way in which Transform has been used. Finally, let's talk about the benefits. Transform, it's already available and it's been used. It's immediately useful. 
It's customizable to your needs. It will grow and adapt based on customer needs, and I quote customer, because customers are not only those uh, who work with us or who use the tools independent of us, but as well as internal to Oak Ridge. We continue to use these tools and we'll add additional capabilities as we need them as well. We want Transform to be supported by industry and their workflows and tool chains. This is where FMI is very important. And we seek to continue to explore the ability to use complex system models in these tool chains, all with the goal of meeting the expectations of how modeling and simulation should be performed here in the 21st century. So the Transform Enterprise delivers a robust tool chain, or at least that's our goal. That's our vision uh, for Medelica based development and analysis of particularly advanced reactors. It's going to enable rapid development, it's collaborative, and it's adaptable. It's built on the emerging standard of Medelica, a physics-based system modeling tool, of course, which we all know and love. But we also want to focus on integrating with modern workflows, such as MBSE, because we feel that Transform and tools like it are foundational to realizing the demands of a complex and integrated energy future. Let's shift gears now and highlight a few projects which have leveraged Transform. The first one is the model of a molten salt demonstration reactor in which fission products are born in the core, travel around the loop, as well as to other auxiliary systems. This type of model is important for the nuclear community as we develop advanced reactors because this dissolved fission products is a unique aspect not currently modeled in existing codes. These types of results will be used in a variety of investigations to understand how these react behave, as well as the potential impacts that this movement of fission products have on the behavior of the system. Another model is that of a nuclear thermal rocket. We have created a model of the system in order to better understand how to control it during various operational modes, such as startup or shutdown. This model included turbo machinery, core models, bypasses, valves, and an instrumentation such as control rod drums, which control the power level of the reactor. The Transformational Challenge Reactor is a project designing and building an advanced manufactured nuclear reactor here at Oak Ridge National Lab. Transform was used for accident event analysis verification of a nodal gas cooled nuclear reactor. If you want to know more about this particular project, you can attend the American Nuclear Society winter meeting or wait for those transactions to be posted. The University of California Berkeley has a facility called SEAT, which is used to perform experiments related to advanced fluoride cooled reactors. A model of the facility was made in Transform and results were benchmarked against experiments. Integrated Energy Systems has been an ongoing project leveraging Transform where we use Medelica to couple a variety of different systems such as nuclear reactors, hydrogen production, and energy storage to see how they all integrate, integrate together to deliver the demands of the system. A recent work completed was to help Eastman Chemical Company understand what an integrated energy system would mean for their facility. We looked at advanced reactors to see how they could deliver high quality steam to the steam distribution network. And finally, we performed linear stability studies of a natural circulation pressurized water small modular reactor. Uh, this was to assist a nuclear company to better understand the ways in which they can control the reactor or design changes they may have needed to make in order to improve the safety and operation of their reactor. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact me. My email is on the page. Or also check out our GitHub site. Or if you'd like to see the video again, it's located on YouTube. I can now take any questions, and I very much appreciate, once again, all of your time. Thank you.